Berlin by Night by M. Riff Chapter 36, The Jetty They left the cabin and returned to the motorcycle. Instead of starting it, the professor retrieved a whiskey bottle from his bag, remarking, Alfred doesn't need this anymore. He poured some whiskey on the ground, saying, This is for you, Alfred. Rest in peace. Taking a hearty swig of whiskey, he passed the bottle to Azer. Normally, Azer would decline, but this time he took a sip and handed it back to the professor. Before settling into the sidecar, his unease evident, Azer glanced back at the hut and the hill behind it. Resting his finger on the trigger, the sniper, likely watching them through the monocular of the rifle. Seated comfortably, the professor relaxed on the motorcycle without starting the engine, shifting to free gear. Releasing the brake, he let the bike roll down the hill and continue along the jetty. The intense storm had transformed the lake into a boiling cauldron. The boats anchored at the jetty swayed violently. The motorcycle was halfway across the bridge when the professor eased the speed. Stepping off, he gestured towards an old fishing boat, introducing it with a hint of pride, allow me to introduce you to Frida. He went on, I acquired it at a harbor auction in Hamburg. Bringing it to this lake was a nearly impossible task, but we managed. Alfred and I invested months of hard work into restoring the boat to seaworthiness. Azer dismounted, still gripping the motorcycle to prevent being tossed into the turbulent lake by the storm. Looking at the professor, he inquired, will we be leaving the Ural here? The professor shook his head, replying, no, we'll need it on the other side of the lake. <laughs>